So this is the Supermicro 1U case with the NetFPGA card. This is the first unit we received from Access Technologies. So we can see this is the NetFPGA card mounted in place. So those two risers are holding the back of the card in the chassis. We see the memory system. See there's three fans to get airflow across the CPU. We see that the hard drives are in front. Two hard drives. Uh, in the first system ship, there's only one SATA cable that's connected to one of the hard drives. The other hard drive isn't. We'd like to have both connected so that if one, when you want to clone drives, that we can just drop in a, another drive and use the RAID to make the copy. Uh, the motherboard has two gigabit ethernets on board that are in the back. And the NetFPGA is providing the four e gigabit ethernets. Hard drives on the system are removable. So I just pull out and go back in. We're now going to power on the system and run the self-test. You can hear the fan spin up. You can see the bio screen come up. CentOS is now loading. Linux is booting, specializing the hardware. We're now going to program the NetFPGA. So you see now that the bit file has been loaded. Next thing is to run the self test. You see that it finds the NF2C0. It's running the self-test now, so you can see details of the self-test. DRAM is running through iterations, 